Hey folks, welcome to MoGraph Plus. This video is a free sample from our course, The Ultimate Introduction to Redshift for Cinema 4D. It's a massive 14 plus hours course in which we explore all the aspects of Redshift for Cinema 4D thoroughly. Make sure to check it out. The link is in the description. Let's pick up the pace a bit and go for a wood part key shader. I'm gonna add a new Redshift material. Rename it to Parquet and assign it. Now open it up and let's load this wood underscore parquet.png texture. As this is the diffuse color texture, therefore a color input, set the color space to sRGB. Now let's set it as the output shader to see how it sets on the geometry. I'm just gonna set the scale U and V for the texture to around 0.75 and connect it to the diffuse color input. Reflection weight, color, and IOR can remain at the default state as we discussed for the plastic shader. Let's go for the reflection roughness and load this wood underscore parquet underscore BW underscore zero two texture. Change the color space to raw and scale to 0.75 like our diffuse color texture. Like the previous material, I'm gonna quickly invert the texture as this texture was created for glossiness workflow. So add a color invert node after it. Now add a scalar ramp after the invert node to be able to adjust the texture values if needed. And in this case, I'm just gonna make the dark values a bit brighter by increasing the first point Y value to around 0.2. Now connect this to the reflection roughness and set the redshift material as the output shader. Next, let's go for the bump. For the bump, I want to use both the map that we used for reflection roughness and another complementary map. So add a texture node and load this wood underscore parquet underscore BW. Set its UV scale to 0.75 and 0.75 like the previous maps and its color space to raw. Check out the ACES video if you don't know why I changed these color spaces. To combine the two maps, add a color layer node and set it as the output shader. Now connect the color invert node to the base color input and the second texture as layer one color input. And in the color layer node, set the mask value or opacity for layer one to around 0.8, so we can reveal the base layer a bit. Now set the redshift material as the output shader and connect the color layer node to a bump map node. and the bump map node to the bump input of the redshift material and set the bump height scale to around 0.3. Let's add that general waviness like the plastic shader. I'm just gonna steal the noise map, its bump map and the bump blender nodes from one of the plastic shaders. So just select them, control C to copy and paste them in the wood shader using control V. Now connect the first bump map to the base input of the bump blender and the noise bump is already connected to the input zero of the bump blender node and finally connect the bump blender node to the bump input of the redshift material. Now let's add the code finally. I'm gonna set the code weight to around 0.3. Now roughness we can change it depending on what we want. 
but maybe 0.1 is good here and let's decrease the IR to 1.2 for the reason that we did it for the plastic shader and that's our parquet shader let me show you a higher resolution render for this shader too Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium CGI and rendering courses for Cinema 4D, 3DS Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, V-Ray, Redshift, Octane and so on. See you in the next video.